Hello, everyone. St. Augustine once said, There are some who depart this life not so bad as to be deemed unworthy of mercy, but not so good as to be admitted to the immediate happiness of heaven. A lot of people I know, and perhaps you know as well, would probably put themselves into that category. In this category, eternal life is deferred until one has undergone a prior period of purification and penance. The pain of purgatory is a temporary loss of God. These souls are much more aware than we are of the distance between the goodness and beauty of God for whom they suffer an ardent longing and their own imperfect state. The Catechism of the Church states that all who died in God's grace and friendship but still imperfectly purified are indeed assured of their eternal salvation but after death they undergo purification so as to achieve the holiness necessary to enter the joy of heaven. The Church gives the name purgatory to the final purification of the elect which is entirely different from the punishment of the damned. The Church formulated her doctrine on purgatory, especially at the councils of Florence in the 14th century and Trent in the 15th century. This teaching is also based on the practice of prayer for the dead, already mentioned in sacred scripture in the book of Maccabees, where it reads, it is a holy and wholesome thought to pray for the dead, that they may be loosed from their sins. St. John Chrysostom says that the Mass is the best way of bringing relief to the dead. The Catechism says, From the beginning the Church has honoured the memory of the dead and offered prayers and suffrage for them above all the Eucharistic sacrifice of the Mass, so that, thus purified, they may attain the beatific vision of God, which is heaven. The Church also commends almsgiving, indulgences and works of penance undertaking on behalf of the dead. Purgatory is particularly relevant for those people who, while on earth, have not taken responsibility for their day-to-day -day sins and failings seriously. We're not talking here about mortal sins, but venial. Even though forgiveness is readily available, those in purgatory have chosen to ignore this. But there is a paradox. Though healing pain is writ large across the landscape of purgatory, its inmates are also bathed in peace as they become more and more united with God. The holy souls, as they are commonly called, purify themselves willingly and lovingly. St. Francis says that the bitterest anguish experienced by the holy souls is shot through with a profound peace. Thank you all for listening and God bless you.